this other one there on ground concerning Twitter ban um, on top and political advertisement. Now, we hear say Twitter, they don't ban political advertising on top of their platform. And now next month, now this one will share the blessing. Now this month, November, now this one will actually um, start to take place. Now, the company's chief executive uh, officer, now become as I talk this one just on Wednesday. He talks say a move where don't win a lot of praise from Democrats and even from a, a lot of um, the express from Donald Trump um, campaign. He talks say we don't make this decision to stop all political advertising on top of Twitter globally. Now, wait till the CEO Jack Dawson talk for inside one statement. He calls to move on to talk say we believe say political message and uh, reach should be earned, not bought. Analysts they not feel ex they do not expect the ban. And it will take effect November 22nd to significantly reduce Twitter's business. Now, the talk say their share don't draw and fall 1.9% um, in after hours trading. Now, social media companies, including Twitter and their rival, um, Facebook, um, they don't face growing pressure for them to stop carrying ads, yo, where they spread false information, where it cause a lot of wahala during election. Now, Facebook on their own, they don't raise up their hands, pledge um, efforts to deal with all this misinformation where they happen after Russia, after Russian propaganda on top of the platform, the BCM, as he affects the outcome of the 2016 U.S. presidential election where Donald Trump become a side as winner. So now Twitter, they come aside, talk, say, they go ban any political advertising because they don't see and say this one, they cost a lot of bege during election. Mm, all right. Um, yeah, just, just in line with our top story this morning in terms of um, social media and the way where some people fit to use them to abuse their power. Or up to, you know, they use them to abuse the position we then get, while some other people um, feel they use them to do business. Now, um, why do they regulate? Well, of course, we know, say, sometimes when certain implementation or when certain policies come in place, um, not be only the bad people go suffer, the good ones too go also suffer. But we just need to make sure, say, the casualties will go resolve for many of this one. Um, you know, go do too much for people to actually um, clamor or so people to cry out on top. And that's not the one. Just as we talk, how are we going to regulate all of these things? Waiting be the memorandum of understanding, quote unquote, on top how all these ones go fit to happen properly. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.